Samsung and Apple are the two biggest names in the smartphone world, so it's no surprise that tech fans love to pit their biggest releases against each other. The recent launch of the Samsung Galaxy S23 Ultra has brought a brand new flagship phone to compare against the top of the range iPhone 14 Pro. So which one is best? Samsung or Apple? Samsung has added some seriously impressive specs to their S23 range and the S23 Ultra is the biggest and baddest of them all. A massive 200 megapixel camera, 100x space zoom, an included S Pen and a giant battery. But the iPhone always impresses and the flagship 14 Pro model cranks up the specs to make full use of Apple's smartphone technology, like its all-powerful A16 Bionic chip and Super Retina display. So they're both powerful, fast, and look pretty good. But which one's best for you? Does size matter? The S23 Ultra is an impressive phone with a big battery and a big screen. The key word being big. The phone itself has a whopping 6.8 inch screen and weighs 234 grams. Great if you love a large phone, but if you've got smaller than average hands, or ever wanted to just pop it into your back pocket, the S23 Ultra is going to feel big. The iPhone 14 Pro Max is fairly similar at 6.7 inches, the difference being you can get the Pro model, which is a compact 6.1 inches with the exact same specs inside. So if bigger is better for you, then the S23 Ultra is the winner. But if you want a phone that can actually hold in one hand, it's the iPhone 14 Pro for the win. Photos or videos? When it comes to comparing top of the line smartphones, camera specs are a big deciding factor and the S23 Ultra is all about top-end camera specs. Its main camera has gone from 108 megapixels up to an insane 200 megapixels, giving it the highest resolution sensor of any smartphone currently on the market. With the S23 Ultra, it's almost impossible to take a bad picture, whether it's during the day or in pitch black darkness. What's more, the S23 Ultra also has a 12 megapixel ultra-wide camera which is great for capturing scenes and group shots. A 10 megapixel 3X telephoto camera for even better portrait photography and a 10 megapixel periscope lens that lets you use Samsung's signature 100X space zoom feature so you can take all those high res photos of the moon Samsung's always advertising. The iPhone 14 Pro is good but can't compete with the S23 Ultra when it comes to photo quality, lenses and versatility. However, the iPhone does edge out the S23 Ultra a little when it comes to video. While both can film in 4K, the iPhone 14 Pro's footage tends to be a little smoother, better rendered and better balanced than the S23 Ultra. And yeah, you might be able to film in 8K on the S23 and not the iPhone, but seeing as 8K screens are still incredibly rare and ridiculously expensive, you probably don't need to be filming your Instagram stories in 8K resolution. Let's talk money. Pound for pound, which is better value? If you're shopping for either of these phones, you're probably not looking to get a budget device. You won't get one. Because both of these phones are expensive. To buy it outright, the S23 Ultra starts at £1,249. And the iPhone 14 Pro starts at £1,099. Both have trading options and both are of course available on a contract with a UK network to help spread the cost. Just looking at those numbers, the iPhone 14 seems like the winner. It's nearly £200 cheaper for the flagship smartphone for Apple. However, that does come with a smaller screen, less storage, and a slightly, slightly less impressive camera setup. As always, it's a case of you get what you pay for. So if you want the top-end camera specs, included stylus, and the huge 6.8-inch screen, it'll cost you a bit more to get the S23 Ultra. So which one is best? S23 Ultra, great phone iPhone 14 Pro, another great phone. While we can pull apart the differences between them, it'll probably come down to this. Are you an Apple fan? Or a Samsung fan? One's a little more affordable and one has a better zoom camera. But if you're sporting an Apple Watch and AirPods, that 10x zoom isn't gonna be enough to make you switch over to Samsung. So ultimately, it comes down to what you're looking for. Weigh up the differences, look at the options and compare deals on uSwitch.